The world of Android app development never stands still. If you want to make awesome apps that really work well, you've got to keep up with what's happening in the Android scene. My name is Daniel and today we are talking about something really exciting. How to become an Android app developer. I'm going to cover everything you need to know, from what Android developers actually do, to the skills you'll need, and even how much money you can expect to make in this field. Now, whether you're looking to get into Android app development or you're already building your own apps, one thing is for sure – creating a great user experience goes beyond just functionality. You've got to have a strong visual design to make your app stand out. Have you ever felt like you want to create more professional designs, but you are just a little self-conscious about the quality of your work? I totally get it. We've all been there. Wanting to make something that looks amazing, but feeling like we don't have the skills to pull it off. Well, that's where Kittle comes in. It's a super versatile graphic design platform that's perfect for anyone, no matter your experience level. Kittle has an extensive library of professional quality templates for pretty much every use case. Whether you're working on a social media post, a logo, or even an ad, they've got something that's perfect to start with. Plus, Kittle is extremely intuitive and user-friendly, so even if you're not a design expert, you can still create stunning visuals without any hassle. You can customize templates, add your own touch, and have a professional-looking design in no time. And the best part? You can try Kittle for free. Just use the link in the description below to get started and see for yourself how easy it is to make top-notch designs. Give it a try and start creating like a pro today. Thanks to Kittle for sponsoring this video. And now, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's dive in. What do Android app developers do? So what does an Android app developer actually do? In simple terms, Android app developers create apps for Android devices, like phones, tablets, and even wearables. They write the code, design the user interface, and make sure everything works smoothly on Android operating systems. But it's not just about writing code all day. Developers also test their apps, debug issues, and make sure their apps are user-friendly and bug-free. Plus, they work closely with designers, other developers, and sometimes even the marketing team to make sure the app hits all the right notes when it's released. You are basically the person behind the scenes who turns an app idea into reality. What kind of education do you need as an Android app developer? Alright, let's talk about education. Now, guys, you don't need to go to a fancy college or have a degree from an Ivy League school to become an Android developer. While a computer science degree can definitely help, it's not required. In fact, many Android developers are self-taught or have learned through bootcamps, online courses, or even YouTube tutorials or roadmaps like this one. If you want to go the formal route, a degree in computer science or software engineering can help build a strong foundation in programming and problem solving. But honestly, the key is to be motivated, keep learning, and practice writing code. If you are not keen on a traditional degree, don't worry. There are plenty of resources online like free courses, coding bootcamps, and even paid courses that teach Android development. Essential skills and tools for Android developers. Now let's get into the real stuff. What skills and tools do you need to actually become an Android app developer? First off, you'll need to know how to code. The primary programming languages for Android development are Java and Kotlin. You'll be using these languages to create the apps, so you need to get comfortable with them. Kotlin has become the preferred language for Android development in recent years, but knowing both can make you more versatile. Besides the programming languages, you'll also need to know Android Studio, which is the official IDE or integrated development environment for Android development. It's like your digital workspace where you'll write, test, and debug your code. It can feel a little overwhelming at first, but trust me, it's one of those tools you'll get the hang of with time. Other essential skills and tools include XML for designing user interfaces, APIs to integrate external services like weather data or maps, version control tools like Git. This helps you keep track of changes in your code, basic understanding of databases, for storing app data locally or on the cloud. And don't forget to always stay up to date with Android's new features, updates, and best practices. Technology moves fast, so it's important to keep learning. How to become an Android developer – a step-by-step -step guide. Guys, before we move on, 
I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Alright, my friends, here is how you can get started as Android app developer, step by step. Step 1. Learn programming. Before you can start developing Android apps, you need to know how to code. Start by learning Java or Kotlin. There are tons of free and paid courses out there to help you get started with these languages. Step 2. Learn Android basics. Once you've got your programming basics down, dive into Android development specifically. You'll need to learn about the Android operating system, how apps are structured, and the Android SDK, or Software Development Kit. Start building small apps to get a feel for how things work. Step 3. Get comfortable with Android Studio. You're going to spend a lot of time in Android Studio, so it's important to get comfortable using it. Learn how to navigate the interface, write your first few lines of code, and test your apps. Step 4. Work on projects. Now comes the fun part – building actual apps. Start with simple apps, like a to-do list or a weather app. As you gain confidence, try building more complex projects. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Step 5. Join the Android developer community. There are tons of Android developers out there, so don't be afraid to ask questions or look for support. Join forums like Stack Overflow, Reddit's Android dev community, or check out YouTube tutorials. Step 6. Build a portfolio. As you work on projects, make sure to keep track of your best work. Having a portfolio of apps to show off to potential employers is super important, especially if you're looking for a job in the field. Demand for Android developers and salary expectation. Now let's talk about the fun stuff, demand and money. Is there a demand for Android developers? Absolutely. Android is the most widely used mobile operating system in the world, with billions of active devices. That means there's always a need for talented developers to build and maintain apps. In fact, mobile app development in general is one of the fastest growing job sectors right now. Whether you want to work for a big company or as a freelancer, there are plenty of opportunities out there. As for salary, let's talk money, folks. In the US, the average salary for an Android developer is around $80,000 to $120,000 a year, depending on experience, location, and the company you work for. Junior developers just starting out may earn a bit less, but with a few years of experience, you can easily see that salary rise. If you're freelancing, your income could vary based on the number of projects you take on. But experienced freelance Android developers can make great money too. Is getting into Android development worth it? So is becoming an Android developer worth it? Guys, absolutely! It's an exciting and ever-evolving field with tons of job opportunities. Whether you want to work for a company, create your own apps, or freelance, there's no shortage of ways to succeed. Plus, the salary potential is solid, and if you're passionate about technology, it can be a super rewarding career. Just remember, it's going to take time and effort to learn all the skills and tools you need. But if you're dedicated and ready to put in the work, the payoff can be huge. If you're considering getting into Android development, I say go for it, folks. The world is your oyster. Alright, guys, that's all for today's Android app developer roadmap. I hope you now have a better understanding of what it takes to get started and what you can expect on this journey. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.